One of the things that we've just been looking at is driverless cars for grocery delivery. And here, there's a transformational perspective change from you drive the van to the van drives you. So this technology has the possibility of enabling grocery deliveries to be made much more cheaply. It's a bit like a mobile click and collect locker. So the trial was very successful. We managed to sign up 100 customers and deliver to them all using the driverless vehicle. The driverless vehicle behaved impeccably throughout all the deliveries and the safety supervisors didn't have to intervene to correct any mistakes. Safety is obviously a key concern with uh, autonomous vehicles and eventually when we get enough confidence in them that they're not going to harm anybody then the laws will be updated and we'll be able to use them on roads. Over the, over the next 10 to 15 years, so certainly by around 2030, we think autonomous cars will be truly reliable and will be commonplace. There's no question that uh, driverless um, uh, autonomous uh, vehicle technology is coming, um, not just in this country but around the world. In our new warehouses that we're building, we're having thousands of robots which pick the, which pick the groceries and move the groceries around, all collaborating. It's a swarm robotics technology that allows us to uh, uh, pick and pack a, a customer order. This is something you just couldn't do in a supermarket. And so over time, our warehouses will become more and more robotic. Ocado is now making its Ocado smart platform technology, consisting of the e-commerce technology and the warehousing technology, available to retailers all over the world. And so we're just waiting for an orderly queue to form so that they could all take advantage of our robotics. So I see this as, a, as, an, as an inevitable for, form of disruption and transformation that is coming our way. This is really going to shake up the whole landscape. Another delivery method that could take off is the use of drones. Over in the US, UPS, together with the Workhorse Group, are trialling delivery by air. You know, it all starts with envisioning the, the dream, right? So the dream here was, is there a way that we can help a UPS driver be more efficient? You know, we, we had seen that during holidays there was a person sitting on a jump seat next to them, right? And we thought, could we have a helper like that all year long? So you start thinking about the future of where we're going, trying to identify that technology, what's best for the delivery, to really make the delivery experience for our customers uh, and for us that much more efficient. So this drone technology is really about efficiency for our drivers, to really give them assistance in those rural areas, in those harder to reach locations um, as they're delivering through these communities. And then you start to get down to mechanics. How would this be possible? And for, for us, the, everything was built around the driver, right? The, the driver is the key. So we made it so the driver could load the drone as quickly as possible, convey to the drone, you know, where exactly at the property address it should land. And the drone to fly autonomously, let the driver do their next task, and then uh, reacquire uh, and mate with the truck again without any driver intervention. Then the vehicle, the big battery in the vehicle, recharges a little battery in the drone and it's ready for its next hop. We have to keep challenging ourselves to look for those innovative, creative solutions uh, to really help our business continue to move forward. Right now we have one drone on the roof, right? But we're trying to see if we can get three, four, five drones on the roof. So basically, you got a rolling warehouse, and where appropriate, the drones would jump off and then re reacquire with the, with the rolling warehouse as it goes. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.